We have yet to find one fatality and we have had three minor injuries. I find that pretty miraculous. A lot of the work is just now going to start in daylight. We've had crews doing search and rescue all night. We've actually had to pull people out of buildings, yet with just minor injuries. Dayton, Ohio, Fire Chief Jeffrey Payne there calling it a miracle. There are no reports of deaths after at least two tornadoes slam Ohio overnight. The storms leaving behind debris and devastation in Dayton. Daylight, daylight now revealing the full scope of the damage there. And Nan Whaley is the mayor of Dayton, Ohio. She joins us now by phone. Mayor Whaley, appreciate you stepping aside and giving, giving us an update on your community there. How is everyone this morning? Well, luckily, um, and uh, people are safe. We just got word that in the town of Salina, one person uh, has died, and there's been about 40 in injuries in hospitals across, from across the region. So, for the most part, we're very grateful that um, people are safe. There's been a lot of um, um, just complete devastation in different areas, and I've been out traveling with uh, our chief of police and some folks from uh, the police department to assess damage and talk to our residents. Mayor, it's our understanding that police are still trying to go door to door looking for survivors. Can you update us on on the continued rescue efforts underway? Yeah, yeah. Fire, uh, the fire department and uh, Ohio Task Force One are in, and you know we're doing search and rescue uh, throughout the region. Um, but to date, we've seen in Dayton, we've seen no fatalities. I mean, that, that is a miracle, as you heard the fire chief there say. When we look at the pictures on our screen right now, Mayor, of just complete destruction. Of Dayton, it, it, it's hard to believe, but what a miracle that is! There's a long road ahead, obviously, and not out of the woods yet. What does that What does that path look like for Dayton, Ohio? Well, you know, um, we're really proud of our first responders and their leadership, and they have plans in place for these uh, sorts of really tough situations. And you know, we will continue to you know work on you know first making sure safety, and then you know our big concern right now is the power is out at our water. Uh, supply for about 400,000 residents, so we're under a boil advisory. So, trying to get the power back up uh, to our water stations is of utmost importance. That is obviously critical in all this. You said mm -hmm. 400,000 still without power. No, 40,000 without power, but we're under a boil advisory for 400,000. Gotcha in Dayton. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the community there, Mayor, we heard you at the top of our show, sound of you talking about a community that is so strong and that will ultimately pull together. That's going to take, that's what it's going to take. Yeah, I mean, I've always been amazed by the resiliency of Daytonians and um, how they come together. And, you know, we just witnessed, you know, from churches opening up as shelters to, uh, you know, regular citizens giving, uh, you know, sheriff deputies water. Uh, you know, to people helping pull each other's cars out. It's been amazing today to witness. Well, you sound strong, Mayor, and they're certainly going to need your leadership. And uh, please continue to update us on the continued rescue efforts that are underway there. Mayor uh, Whaley, we know you're, you're busy this morning, and we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thanks. Thanks.